creating jobs and incomes for majority of our people and ensuring inclusive growth because that is a contract that the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance signed with the people of Kenya. As a PG also, we resist the attempts by the opposition to force or blackmail the government to implement failed policies of the last regime that drove the country into economic mess, including the cor corruption ridden consumption sub uh, subsidies, irresponsible borrowing and gross fiscal mismanagement through the state capture. We particularly support the government's policy of subsidizing production rather than consumption and the prudent fiscal management within a framework of managed debt levels. We are not refusing to take advice. We will listen to every Kenyan, but we find it rather difficult to take advice from the very people that put us, put us in the mess we are in uh, today. In reaffirming our commitment to the dictates of the Constitution and the rule of law, this PG today has directed our team nominated in this bipartisan process to strictly adhere to our constitution and is the established laws of the land in addressing the constitution of the IEBC panel as was communicated by His Excellency the President on Sunday the 2nd of April 2023. Finally, we equally call upon our colleagues in the opposition to adhere to the rule of law and constitutionalism and pursue all issues of concern through established institutions under our constitution. We thank you. We'll appreciate maybe if there are one or two questions, then we can call it a day. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Tor from KTN News. Uh, two questions. Uh, civil servants have not been paid uh, and have been a delay in salaries. Is the government broke? Number two, uh, both sides have stuck to their guns that you do not want conversations outside, outside parliament, but uh, Zimir want conversation out of parliament. Is it a take it or leave it or what is it? Okay. We'll take about maybe two or three questions and respond to them. My name is Chimutai Goin from Citizen TV, and I have one question. Um, the opposition, um, while well, they formed their team, has also wanted that the talks be expanded to address other issues. And in the president's address on April 2nd, he had indicated that the issue at hand was the reconstitution of the Paul's body, IEBC. In the PG, maybe, did you agree on the terms of engagement with the opposition? What issues will be on the table? And then, of course, um, when do we expect these meetings? Uh, to begin. Okay. The last question, the third one, then we can answer. Uh, thank you. My name is Ibrahim Karanja from NTV. Yes. Again, parts of the demands by the opposition, which you have said uh, that you support the policies by the president to lower the cost of living, but they are very particular that they are not getting into any meeting with you if the price of unga in particular has not gone to 100 shillings. Is that happening anytime soon, or what message do you have to the other side? Okay, maybe I'll answer one or two, then I'll leave uh, to the majority leader of the National Assembly to respond. Unfortunately, the decisions that we arrived at today were made after a consultation with the representatives of the people from across our country. And the instructions that our team have are to limit their conversation on matters that are of great concern to the people of Kenya, re the IEBC with regards to that bipartisan uh, committee. With regards to the issue of a uh, cost of living, as you have uh, spoken about, we have reaffirmed as a PG that we believe that the policy this government has put in place are working. That is why six months ago, Kenyans were buying at 230 shillings. But today, if you walk into any supermarket, you'll be able to achieve or to buy it at 180 or 190 shillings. That is a price that has gone down. So we, sh we are willing to educate and teach our colleagues from the opposition on how the programs that this administration is running are working. What we are not willing to engage is the failed policies that were done under the handshake government. Whereas we speak today, 
the Auditor General has flagged that 34 billion Kenya shillings cannot be traced. If you meet the millers, they will tell you they haven't been paid. If you meet Kenyans, if you gather a group of 100 Kenyans, you'll be lucky to get maybe one or two who bought unga at 100 shillings. So Kenyans did not see the unga, the millers were not paid, but the money is not there to be accounted for. Surely, is that the kind of policy that you want us uh, to pursue? So I believe we are on the right track. And with regards to the cost of living, this PG has affirmed the position of this administration that the policies that have been put in place are yielding results and we shall continue to pursue them. If there are other questions that I haven't responded to, I, my colleague from the National Assembly will respond to them. Thank you. Maybe I begin with uh, the two by Chamtai and Emmanuel on the other issues that the opposition has raised. And I think, as we have indicated, we have, as a PG, resolved that we shall resist any attempts by the opposition to force or to blackmail government to implement policies that have failed. And particularly, because Emmanuel, I think you are the one who has asked about the issue of UNGA going to 100 shillings. You will remember, this is a gentleman from NTV, you will remember there was no UNGA that was available to Kenyans at 100 shillings. You will also recall the former cabinet secretary agriculture, Peter Munya, asserting that the subsidy program for UNGA was unsustainable and was called off way before the election. You are also aware that the same program has been questioned by none other than the Auditor General and the Controller of Budget. That the subsidy programs that they are now trying to blackmail government to reinstate were programs that were designed to loot billions of shillings from the Kenyan people. And that is why you have asserted as a parliamentary group that we shall support the government's policies towards subsidizing production to enable cheaper food land on the tables of Kenyans. Two, the other issues I think that uh, listening to our colleagues in opposition is issues that we have stated that we want to adhere and we have called on them in our statement to also to adhere to the rule of law and the constitution. They are asking us to open servers. This parliamentary group has asserted that we have no key to any server other than the key to open the economic servers to reinstate our economy to where it ought to be. On IABC servers, that matter was well addressed by the Supreme Court. The opposition is within its rights to seek a review under the Constitution and under the law from the Supreme Court on the issue of any servers that they think was not done by the Supreme Court. They can go back to the same Supreme Court. On the reinstatement of the Cherera 4, there are no provisions under any law or under our Constitution to reinstate officers, public officers, who have voluntarily resigned from public office or those who have been removed from public office, as the case was, by uh, for Commissioner Masit. And I think on the cost of living, we are clear. We shall support the government's policies that are what we sold to the people of Kenya when we went around the country campaigning. And we sold policies to the people of Kenya that the people of Kenya agreed with by voting for the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Therefore, the failed policies of the last regime cannot and shall not be forced on either government or the people of Kenya because the people of Kenya rejected them in the elections. Thank you. I think we are good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.